Hi, I'm Alex from Controller T Sports, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Gregory Gaultier edition of the Dunlop Sonic Core Elite squash racket. Uh, it weighs 135 grams unstrung. It's got a 500 centimeter square head size, uh, a 14 by 18 string pattern, and a headlight balance point. Uh, hitting a few lengths with this racket, it was really comfortable and smooth to play with, but it was also explosive when I needed it to be. Uh, the Sonic Core Elite's on the heavier side, so I could get some weight behind the ball and generate some decent racket head speed and hit with a bit of pace um, pretty much whenever I wanted to. It, the racket was really forgiving on off-centre hits and I could hit with different angles and paces without having to worry too much about completely mishitting the ball, which made it really good fun to play with. Uh, volleys with this racket were really fun as well. Um, generally I found the string bed was lively and still very forgiving when altering the pace and the angle of the volleys. Uh, the Sonic Core Elite fell, feels really clean and smooth to play with and I could control the ball pretty well into all the corners. If you've watched Gaultier play before you'll know how explosive and creative he is with the ball uh, and he can also place the, place the ball in short with really good accuracy pretty much whenever he wants. Uh, this racket really assists that style of play. It might be down to the generous head size, but the margin of error on off-centre hits is noticeably larger. When it comes to manoeuvrability, I could experiment quite a lot with different paces and angles without worrying too much about mishitting the ball. Uh, this is what makes it so fun to play with, so you can be pretty explosive and put the ball away with pretty good speed whenever you want to. I think the weighting and the traditional frame shape make the Gaultier edition of the Sonic Core Elite 135 the perfect racket for players who ultimately play a controlled game style with a slightly larger swing but who like to vary the pace and take their opponents off guard with explosive shots when they need to. It really does match Gaultier's style of play. Uh, I'd give it an 8 out of 10 for power, an 8 out of 10 for feel, a 9 out of 10 for control and a 7 out of 10 for manoeuvrability.